Hello everybody, it is around 8 o'clock this morning and Steven is off to work. Bubba's is resting on the couch. He's looking at me right now. Um, and I'm just getting ready to get the day started um, because it's just a weekday that I actually have off. So just taking care of all the things. It has been a while since we chatted. It's actually been a little over three weeks. If you are following me on Instagram, you already know why I've been gone. I dislocated my knee. Puffed it back into place myself, was on crutches. Just started walking on it again, trying a little bit of a light workout the last couple days and feeling better. But also on top of that, I think because I was laid up, I also got the flu, um, which was just an amazing combination of all the things. But um, I'm doing much better and now I'm picking up the camera again, getting back on track. So I'm happy to be back. I have missed you all. I've been so excited to pick up this camera. And yeah, I have lots of cool things to share with you um, that I've acquired over the time that I was laid up. And one is actually um, a kitchen gadget that I used to make breakfast this week. So I'm gonna cut away to show you how cool this thing is because I'm absolutely in love with it and Steven actually really likes it too. I am making a sheet pancake in my Brava oven that I told you guys about. So this is the outside of the oven. You can see in there, I did a Kodiak pancake with blackberries in it. On the screen, it shows you like, okay, the all zones are filled. I'm gonna just stick with the default. Actually, I'm just gonna go slightly over. It tells you which shelf to put it on. And then you press the green button. You can actually watch your pancake cook. Now, it's not, the reason this is here is because it doesn't have a glass front door, which I love, because then it never looks messy. But then what's really cool is if you go over here, it will come up. You can actually watch your pancake cook or whatever you're cooking on your screen. There's tons of recipes you can use. You can buy a meal kit. We haven't done that. We've just been using it and we absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic but it says this will be done in about eight minutes and 40 seconds so we shall see how this turns out okay. I would dare say it looks perfectly perfectly brown I mean it's perfect. All right, so this is breakfast, and I will let you know how it is. So as you can see, well, you actually can't see, I'm wearing one of my shirts. It says take, and then it says care of yourself and care of others on the bottom. But a lot of you have been asking me to get some new merch up on my shop. And my friends, that's exactly what I've done. So let me show you. Oh. I'm actually really excited about them. So there are three new designs. There's this one that's compassion, respect, gratitude, joy, kindness, and they're all zero dollars, and it's all free. Um, then there's this one, kindness is free, give it to everyone, which is the slogan that I have been using since, oh, I think the first year I ever did Vlogmas, I started saying it. And then be kind, that's all. So I have those three new designs with the others as well. Um, I will leave everything linked down below. Make sure you check out the sizing. It's a little bit different, so just go by the measurements, but I, I'm so proud of it. And so many of you have like loved it. You can also get like mugs and pencil pouches. You can get whatever you want. The shipping is really fast. The customer service, all of you have been commenting um, who've had to contact them has been fantastic. So yes, that, he's awake. So everyone has been commenting on how great the customer service has been if you've had to return something. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really proud of these. On today's agenda, there's a bunch of like little home decor changes, like very subtle ones. 
um, that I definitely want to share with all of you. I also want to make a Michaels run. I want to do a Pottery Barn run. Um, yeah, so there's like a lot of little, little things I need to take care of today. And we are just going to get the day rolling. I also need to get a workout in. Um, might do a little bit of restyling. I really want to do a couple little shifts in the bedroom um, around some of the styling. I just want to make it feel a little bit more luxe. So that's on the agenda. We are going to get the day started and get a move on. Let's get going. Okay, Bubba's is outside. I just got home. Um, I picked up this quilt for the bedroom. It's really a color I want to pull into the house more because um, I really, really love it. Oh, hello. Do you need a cookie? I give you a cookie. And then... Is it cookie? Oh, is it get it? Oh, get it. And then I grabbed these at Michael's. They were 50% off. I just kind of really love the look. Those were 50% off. I love like this old vibe. This was from Hearth and Home. This was from Hearth and Home. Those pillows were from Target. And then this mirror, because for me, I just feel like the fireplace feels a little flat. I mean, I love the clean, simple look. It just looks very blah. So I have a couple ideas on how I'm gonna incorporate these different things. First thing I'm going to do is just kind of clear this space off. All these candlesticks always come from Goodwill. I never buy them. 99 cents, 3.99. Um, the heavier ones that are real brass will always be more expensive. Goodwill actually does check that. Like this one was only $1.99 because it's not nearly as heavy. So, literally love decorating with candlesticks, whether they have candles in or not. So, like in here, I have some that don't even have candlesticks in, but I love decorating with them. Okay, so, first thing I think I'm gonna play with is I wanna get some height on the mantle, so I think I'm going to fiddle with this mirror. Leaned up against there. I don't, I don't hate the layering, but that is not the piece for it. Let me go see if I have another piece of art. A lot of this is just shopping the house now. So I'm gonna go peruse the house and see if there is another piece of art that I'd want to use. I love this photograph. We bought it in an art shop, but I need it to be more horizontal. This is small, but I do really like the color this would bring. This tile is actually from Spain. This could be interesting. All right, let's take these down and play with them. I actually kind of really like that. All right, we're gonna leave that there right now. Um, I have some greenery that I picked up from Target. It's Hearth and Home. What I'm going to do with this right now is I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm going to find my perfect center, which is right here. And the reason I'm cutting it in half is because you'll see all the branches are going one way and I want it to look balanced and even. And the only way you can get that is if you can get the other branches going the other way as well. This is where I'm at right now with it. I do see that these need to all lay flatter. Actually, 
actually really liking it. I feel like the camera is not giving it the just, I really like it. Um, perfect. I might add just a couple of the candlesticks. Um, let me play with that and see how I feel. Added the candlesticks. I only added three, two on this side, one on this side. And I really, really like it. It's perfect. I need to change this lantern out because that does not go. We definitely need to add a gold lantern. I can't wait for this tile to be gone. The new tile for the fireplace is gorgeous. All right. Yes, I really like that. I finished styling a couple other things. So those little, I don't know what, someone tell me down below what these are. I don't know what they are um, or what they're supposed to be because clearly they're not real. But those three little things I bought at Michael's, I added there and then just added the pops of those terracotta pillows to the couch. Bubby has that one a little messed up. And then I set this up a couple, uh, maybe three or four nights ago. These are three vases from Hearth and Home that are at Target along with two of her artificial picks. And then this is also a Hearth and Home table runner that I just folded in half. I have two books that I'm currently reading, Martha Stewart's Organizing and Kristen Cavallari's True Roots. And then, yeah, just kept it like really easy going. <laughs> Look at him. You are such a diva. And that pillow usually leans against that other pillow. However, he's living his best life right now. <laughs> Could you look any more comfortable? Oi, this dog. Then in the kitchen, with my Ray Dunn pieces, I actually flipped them all around so you don't see the words. So it's just like white pottery in there. I just... I don't know, I went through a phase where I needed it to look simpler. And then you guys have been around for the three vases. And yeah, I think I did that arrangement on a vlog. And then the three clay pots I bought at Michael's, I'm using as little utensil holders and I really think it looks super cute. It is about three o'clock and I made the executive decision to run to Home Goods and to Pottery Barn. A, because I have a Pottery Barn card for $50 that I need to use or it expires soon. So I have to use that up. And then the other thing is, is I'm really happy with the way the bedroom is looking, but it's just missing like just a, just something. Um, I don't love the one bench along the wall and I'm hoping that they still have one that I saw here a while ago that is more the style I think we want. So I'm gonna go see if that is still there. So I made some changes in the bedroom. I brought that lamp that was in our basement back upstairs. They used to be on each side of a couch before we got the sectional. But I was like, oh, it'll be perfect there. I love how this is picking up the color of the nightstands. Then above the bed, I just thought it tonally went so well with this, is an old painting that we picked up at a antique store in Bedford, Pennsylvania. It just goes perfectly. And then I switched out the bench here. I saw this one at Home Goods. It was so cheap, it was only $100 but it's totally the right vibe. The wood then ties in so nicely with the nightstands and this new quilt. I could not be happier now with the bedroom. So we got Bubba's, a Casper memory foam bed. He loves it, but it's a memory foam bed. It's good for old dogs with old joints. Today at my pottery barn was a hush sale. So that means they don't tell you until you enter the store and everything was 20 to 25% off. Plus I had, uh, I thought I had $50. I had $75 in rewards points to use. So let me show you what I got, because I love it. I picked up those three beautiful lanterns. 
and I wanted something so badly on this table that made a statement. And I gotta say, I absolutely love them. We used to have a lamp here, which didn't make sense because we have this light here in the corner. So it just didn't really make sense to have two lights that close to each other. But I just love it. I also like it because it ties in the black fixtures a little bit more. I mean, I'm pumped. This is probably the happiest I've ever been with this living space. I just heard from Steven. He said he is running really late tonight. Um, he just wrote, this is insane. So I don't know what time he's going to get home. So I am just totally relaxing. Um, and I thought I'd catch up with a couple things I've been doing lately. So, as you know, I bought those Smithson notebooks um, and the little yellow one I'm using for like YouTube ideas. But what I've started doing is Google searching um, journal prompts. So for example, this one is for February. You could just type in the month and it gives you journaling prompts. And I have been journaling a ton and really enjoying it. Um, and I like having these types of prompts because I feel like sometimes when I've journaled in the past, I have done like a lot of like capturing the day. Um, but some of these have made me like really be a lot more thoughtful. Um, and then also like sparked some ideas for this year around some things I could possibly do with some of these entries. So, um, really enjoying them and uh, yeah just Google like March journal prompts and uh, a bunch will come up and find one that best suits you but I'm really excited about it yeah so that's something that I've really been enjoying I'm trying to think what else has been up I've just had like a lot of time to like just sit and relax um, because I've been injured I've done a lot of reading so some books that I've really been loving that I really enjoyed the Jessica Simpson autobiography was fantastic um I love Jessica Simpson and I just simply love the book another book that I really liked is The Edited Life it's a nonfiction home organization decluttering book that I really enjoyed um a cookbook that I've really been liking is Kristen Cavallari's True Roots I've read it cover to cover um very happy with it I'm also reading, almost done with it now, The Story Girl by Ella Montgomery, the same author of Anne of Green Gables. Really enjoying it. I mean, it's not for everyone, but if you liked Anne of Green Gables, I think you'd really enjoy the book. Um, so that's another book that I've been reading. Next on my list is uh, Melissa Radke's book. I recently discovered her. I find her hysterical. Um, and... I didn't even know she had a show. You guys, I posted about her on uh, Instagram and you guys told me. So I'm going to read her book and then I have a couple other books like on the waiting list. I also lit the lanterns and I am in love with them. They look so good. Steven is home from work. He had a late day. He is on call for the weekend so we might have to go in this weekend. He's very excited. Hi, Bubby. Um, the cauliflower pizza is done, and it's so small that Steven is also heating up some leftover spaghetti and meatballs from dinner last night. Well, I said, um, I told my sister, and she was on the phone with uh, Sonia, and I said, well, our kitchen lady was here, and Sonia was like, what's a kitchen lady? And I felt like saying, she's a woman who takes a lot of money and redoes your kitchen. So that is the big house project that Stephen and I have in the works. We are redoing our kitchen. I wouldn't say redoing, I would say refreshing. We're not refreshing, so wait, let me give, let Stephen tell you, act like you're on a TV show. Tell them what's happening to the kitchen. Well, I'm not gonna, what, you're, we're replacing the countertop. What are we replacing it with? Quartz and soapstone. So let me tell you, this is going to become a quartz looking marble. This point shape is going to be leaving us and then everything around the perimeter 
is going to be soapstone. So like there, all around. Then what else are we doing? Well, because we have to... Alexa, off. Because we have to, we're taking that out, we have to put in a new sink. Which and, I want. And what kind of sink do you want? I want my farmhouse sink that I had at the old house because I do the dishes and it's easier to do with a bigger sink that's not to buy it. So a farmhouse sink is going in there. Um, and then because we're replacing the countertops, we also have to replace the tile because... Which the tile is what I previewed for you on Instagram. And then tell them what I'm most excited about over the stove. Oh, yeah, so we're also putting a pasta um, uh, lever, a pasta faucet in. Uh, I love that he calls it a pasta faucet. Pasta filler. A pot filler. A pot filler over the stove. Uh, and, and what I'm most excited about is more electric sockets uh, in the mudroom and the closet. Which we haven't brought that up yet with them. We haven't. And then, no, I didn't talk to them about that. And then... The tile backsplash that we chose for the backsplash here is also going to be mirrored here. This cabinet is being taken out and being turned into a 30 bottle wine fridge, dual zone for red and white. So then this will be gone. And then the tile on the backsplash that we chose is going to be run up the fireplace as well. So that is the big thing that's going to be happening in the next couple weeks. Um, and we're super excited about it because I really feel like A, it will elevate the whole look of the house, but also be far more our style and what we want. We've already gone to the stone place. Steven actually found the stone for the island. Well, it yeah, was, yeah. But we were, it's supposed to be a warehouse. So we were like walking around uh, with I was on crutches. On crutches. We were walking around this big warehouse where they had these huge stone slabs from all over the world. And you had to pick which one you wanted. And, and had I had my mind chose on something else. And then Stephen found the island stone. And it's literally perfect. They had like stones that were like purple. And like all these crazy colors. But So this kitchen is going to be gone soon. It's the cab... <laughs> we're not... We're replacing the countertops. We're replacing everything but the cabinets. And the appliances. We, and our appliances, because they're so nice. And the floor. So it's, it's not, we're not redoing, we, we're not gutting the kitchen. I still consider it a pretty big redo, but if we were to redo a kitchen, these are the cabinets we would choose anyway. We love our hardware that we picked. We love the T-bar. We love like the height of our refrigerator and all our appliances. But the counters, the backsplash, the sink, Pieces like that are things that we would have changed. So stay tuned because I'm going to vlog the whole experience and yeah, that's what's happening. He's gonna eat dinner. He definitely doesn't wanna be recorded while eating dinner. He likes peace and quiet when he eats. So we will catch up in a little bit. Steven took Bubba's for a walk and I am just sitting here having a glass of wine and waiting for him to get home because we are going to watch Knives Out tonight, which we've heard great things about, so we're super excited to watch it. And that's going to be our Friday night. I got so much decorating done today, and the house looks so good. Steven was so happy with it, um, and I really feel like it will vibe really well with the kitchen redo, so I'm excited about it. All right, so we're gonna watch the movie. I'll let you know how it is. I'll see you guys in tomorrow morning, and yeah. All right, my friends, it is Saturday morning. As far as knives, <laughs> and don't judge my big glasses, I really like them. Um, uh, as far as Knives Out goes, I fell asleep um, <laughs> and slept through everything but the first 15 minutes of it. But uh, Steven really liked it. I'm gonna give it another try because we ended up buying it because it wasn't available to rent. So I will let you know what I finally think, but Steven really liked it. I've been editing the vlog. It's already super long, so I'm gonna cut it short. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like the new merchandise. I hope you got some decorating ideas. Um, I'm just so happy to be back, um, but I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.